This time on Low Boost, I'm going to be doing a 50,000 mile update on our 2017 GFERTY BMW 540i. Alright. What you guys are looking at here is my 2017 BMW 540i that I bought in October of 2020. It was a certified pre-owned vehicle. We just clicked 50,000 miles and we just expired on our certified pre-owned BMW warranty. So I kind of wanted to go over a couple of things in the car that I've noticed and have experienced. And if it's something that you guys should consider getting yourselves because at 50,000 miles, that can tell you a lot about a car. First off, I wanna point out a couple of the modifications that I did make to the car um, on the outside. I did wrap the roof black. I got these uh, blacked out side vents, as well as I got front grills for this. Um, both of those I actually got on Amazon. So I'll put links to those in the, in the description below because if you're interested in blacking the car out, those are two easy steps to do so. I think next what I'll do is probably black out the chrome uh with uh with some trim stuff maybe the same stuff that i used for the wrap on the roof so uh i'll, I'll probably do a separate video on that and see what you guys think about that but uh 50 000 miles here is the update pardon the appearance uh, pardon the appearance inside the car because uh, my wife and i drive it a lot and we have kid crap everywhere but inside the car all the electronics still work flawlessly everything inside is great I love the blue, but you can actually change these uh, to multiple different colors. You can even do uh, top and bottom two-tone change, red, white, blue, green. You can change everything how you want. It's really, really awesome. Um, so I really like the interior of the car. The only thing that I have to say about the, the interior of this car is, and um, it wasn't like a warranty issue or anything, but uh, if I have anything on the seat, anything at all, the seat belt light will go off, forcing me to plug it in. Um, doesn't even need to weigh a lot, so that will go off. It's kind of annoying, but that's the only real main issue I have with the car. On the inside, um, I have to have this uh, seat belt plugged in if I even have an iPad or anything on the passenger seat. But other than that, the interior in the car has been flawless. We put a lot of stuff, a lot of wear and tear in these seats with, with the kids. Um, nothing is teared or ripped everything has been very versatile on the interior of the car the steering wheel i do have to be a little careful uh, with leather steering wheels if you have a ring or something you can nick them this one has held up pretty good there is one spot on like this side it's kind of hard to see that it's got a little bit of a nick on it but other than that the steering wheel has held up really really flawless and really bmw does a great job with their interiors and the new g series interiors on these BMWs are great. This episode is brought to you by Extreme Powerhouse. Whether you have a BMW, an Audi, Ford Mustang, or a bunch of other cars, make sure you check them out. They have a great, great selection of performance parts for a bunch of different types of vehicles. And if you go on there and use the coupon code LOWBOOST, all one word, you get access to some extra special discounts. Mechanically, the car has been very, very stout. I haven't even had to replace brake pads or any of those other wear items even in the 50,000 mile period. It was kind of running up near the end of the warranty. I'm like, Am I, hopefully something goes so I can have it replaced. But really the car's been stout uh, as far as pads go. And if I needed to do brake pads and stuff, those are just normal wear items. But you know, we drive the car kind of hard and don't take it to the track or anything, but definitely the pads have held up. The tires have also held up as well too. I, I do have a different set of tires that I run in the summer and then, then I run in the winter that also helps these tires last longer, but nothing really went or worn. All the body panels still line up perfectly. Um, no, nothing major I would say that, uh, that has happened on the car um, that would make me feel like something is cheap or plastic or falling apart. The car is just really, really solid. And uh, performance wise, stock car, it ran a 12.8 second quarter mile at 106 miles an hour, which really, really tells you this B58 platform is just awesome. And I do plan on doing a tune to it now that it's out of warranty. So I want you guys to make sure to hit that subscribe button because I am gonna do before and after stuff on some of the aftermarket modifications that I will do to it 
and, and some of the stuff that I have done to it. I'll go over one of them now. The only performance mod that you'll note so far is this is a BMS intake from Burger Motorsports. Uh, it definitely does help with uh, the sound. You could definitely hear the turbo spool up. I wouldn't say it's a drastic, drastic improvement. I think if I was to delete this resonator box, totally cut it out, you'd really be able to hear the turbo spool a lot more, but you definitely can hear it more than the stock air box. And it looks pretty cool. It was really easy to install. I did a full install video on that. So if you're interested, like I said, check out the other videos that I have on the 5 Series because I have a bunch of them and I'm gonna be going to be doing some more as well. Other things you might want to check out on the channel, not only do I have this BMW, but I have this one. This is an E36 that I've turbo LS swapped. I have over 40 episodes on this entire build series from when I started to take the car apart to what it's up to now, you know, making a bunch of power and hopefully going on ethanol soon as well. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button. Now one regret that I do have on this is, as you can see, I did not get the M Sport package, which does come with a different front bumper and rear bumper and a couple other odds and ends on the outside. I was hoping that down the road, I could just get an M Sport front bumper and slap this on, but um, I guess it was more difficult than that. And it turned out that it would cost a hell of a lot more money just to, to swap those bumpers on. So I don't dislike these. This bumper actually is pretty nice comparatively to the older, non M Sport models, but I did not get the M Sport package with this. Only regret that I have, everything else in the car I absolutely love. It's not even a fully loaded up five series, but um, for what we paid for it back in 2020, probably could get more than what I paid for it now. Just, just the way the market is. No, I'm not selling it because to be honest with you, the next thing I wanna talk about is the way this thing drives. The car is big, but it doesn't feel big when you're driving it. When I'm inside the car, taking turns and everything, it really feels pretty well balanced and feels like a nimble car to me, uh, which is really surprising because the car in real size is huge. But I like that for me and my family of four, we got two kids that are very small and the kids are small, but all their stuff, they got a lot of stuff. This has a huge trunk that can fit a whole bunch of stuff, strollers, backpacks, book bags, porta potties, you name it and we still have all the room inside the car to really be comfortable while we're driving. I really think this is the best road trip vehicle that I have in the fleet. Uh, might be the best road trip vehicle that I've ever owned ever. The extra space inside the car is awesome. It's really big and comfortable, but it doesn't drive that way. It drives like a really well-built, tight little sports car. It doesn't have the same feeling as my Porsche 911. Don't get me twisted, it's very, very, it's a much bigger car, but it doesn't feel that way. So I don't feel like I'm driving a land yacht when I'm in this thing. That wraps it up for my 50,000 mile update on the 540i. Let me know if you like this video because I'll do more of them on different cars that I have, that, are, that, I've, that I've had experiences with to let you guys know what I like about it, what I don't like about it. There wasn't a whole lot of pet peeves that I have in this car because it's really, really awesome. I love BMWs and this is probably one of the best BMWs ever owned. I absolutely love this thing. It's not going anywhere, not for a long time. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.